Hello everybody, this is Tarkhan back with another video here on Manifestation Lab. I have an interesting email here from a viewer regarding money. So this is going to be a money video, which you can probably already tell from the title. But before I start, I want to ask you guys right off the bat, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Please like this video. Please share it. Please hit that notification bell. Uh, it helps my videos get views on YouTube because you know that whole algorithm thing. I'm going to do a video about that too because it's strangely related to manifesting and law of attraction. So that's something to think about. Anyway, um, here's the email from the viewer. So Tarkon, there's just one thing that seems to stump me. <laughs> if it's only one thing, that's good. The lottery. When I affirm about winning millions on the lottery and do my visualizations, etc., I'm not seeing results. It's been a year. I know there's always movement in the background, but it shouldn't take so long, should it? I keep reading people's comments on them getting their lottery wins through manifesting and watching videos about it, and they seem to get it quick. There was one guy who didn't have a job for a whole year, never had much money in life ever, then won a million on a scratch card. Well, he didn't have a job for a whole year. And he didn't have much money in his life ever, so it wasn't that quick for him either, was it? How does one live in the end of having winning a lot of money like that? Would be interested in your thoughts, maybe in a future video. The future is here now because here's your video, okay? Uh, let me let me pick on you a little bit, okay? And I know you guys have been watching my channel for a while. I, I'm not picking on you to be mean, but I like to pick apart your emails and your comments because so often we don't understand our own language that we're using, the own, the mindset behind what we're saying and what we're asking and the reason we're asking these questions, right? Um, you're sitting around wondering, where's my lottery win? Now, let me, let me explain something about not just money in terms of manifesting money, but in terms of manifesting anything, be it relationship, be it that specific person, be it good health. There are infinite, infinite ways for the universe to get you what you want. It's really that simple. Okay. Right now you're sitting around and you've been doing this for a while, probably because you're saying, my God, it's been a whole year. So for a whole year, you've had one thing in your mind, one avenue to get your money. And that is the lottery. Now, to what degree do you think if you're giving your mind or you're giving yourself only this one avenue to get money, the kind of money that you want? What do you think is happening here? What do you think? Do you think that, that this is a believable concept for you to get into the idea of, Hey, I can be a millionaire by winning the lottery. Now, when I say there are infinite ways for the universe to get you what you want, does that are you hearing only the lottery can get you what you want? Only winning the lottery can get you what you want? No. Obviously, when I say infinite ways, there are infinite ways. There are ways that you don't even understand yet or know about yet because our minds, our physical minds, and I like to call them our monkey minds, um, <laughs> our ego minds, let's put it that way, can only come up with a couple of avenues to, for us to get what we want. Okay. I can only have the money that I want if I win the lottery. Cause how else am I going to get it? Because your mind has a limited perspective here in 3D reality. Okay. Now your higher mind, the universe, in other words, has an infinite perspective. It has a, a much broader, huge, humongous perspective over everything, all of creation and all the ways and avenues in which you can obtain what it is that you want in your physical reality that you desire. So to the universe, looking at you right now, you're not being in receptive mode when you only give yourself one option to obtain what it is that you want to obtain. Okay. The universe is looking at you going, why is she only focusing on, on the lottery? If she were to go live in the end result and you say, Oh, I've been doing in the living in the end result. I don't think you really have. Because the end result for you is only one possibility for you to get the kind of abundance that you want. And that is through winning the lottery. Now that's limiting yourself. Okay. And when you limit yourself, you're limiting the ability of the universe to get you what you want as well, because you're not receiving, you're not being, you're not sending the signal of there's infinite abundance all around me. And there are infinite ways for that abundance to reach me. Okay. If you're only thinking of the lottery being the only way that you can get your abundance, well, that's limited thinking. Okay. That's not abundant thinking. All right. I want you to consider something. There's money all around you. 
all the time everywhere the moment you leave your house there's money there's money in people's pockets there's money in the bank there's money in the cash registers there's money all over the place so you live in an abundant universe there's and more than enough for everybody okay more than enough so first of all free that thinking you know get rid of that idea of well there's if i win this then only uh, i can have it and only these people will then not have it because there's only a limited amount of these resources of this thing called money it's all energy and the energy energy is limitless and energy is like water it can flow through any crack and any nook and cranny that it can find to get to you you understand so if you are sitting there going i gotta win the lottery 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 i want money the only ways the lottery the lottery the lottery the lottery the lottery you're limiting yourself to one possibility for that money to reach you okay so you're not living in the end result you're trying once again as we all do and it's a habit that we have of micromanaging the whole process because you think that you know the answer to how to get that money that you want that prosperity that you want, that abundance that you want. You think, well, I can only come up with this possibility of winning the lottery. I want you to let go of the idea of winning the lottery altogether. Get rid of it. When I say live in the end result, I want you to do the following. Okay. And that goes not just for the person writing this email, but for everybody out there in the same boat. Okay. Wondering the same thing, thinking about money. I want you to spend the money in your mind. Okay. I want, that's what living in the end is. I don't want you to think about how is it going to come to me? Okay. I don't want you to think about how and when, because that's what you're doing in your email. I can see it. Okay. I can, I'm not so emotionally involved in your situation. So I have, you know, I can look at and re read between the lines and see where your mindset is at just by looking at your words. I'm not a genius or anything. It's just the fact that I have a third opinion. I have a different perspective on your situation than you do. You're very emotionally involved in it, right? Well, I can look at it a little bit more objectively and I can see, oh, I can totally see where she's focusing only on, on, uh, uh she's focusing on how am I going to get this thing and when is it going to come? All right. That's what you're focusing on. So when we say you're going to get what you focus on most of the time on a regular basis, um, then how does that translate to what you're saying here in your email, right? Think about it a little bit. When's it going to come? Shouldn't it come quicker than this? So you're worried about it being absent from your life, not being present in your life. So probably when you're doing your visualizations, etc., you're going into it with the mindset of, I got to do this because I don't have what I want. I need to have what I want now. I need it now. I need it now. I need it now. Where is it? It's not here. It's not here. Because that's what the universe, that's the signal you're sending to the universe. When you're doing that, you're sending not the signal of, I have this, because if you had that mindset, you wouldn't even worry about asking a question like this, right? So you're sending the signal of, I don't have it. When is it here? I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Look, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. It's not here yet. How can the universe bring you the thing that you want when you're, you're focusing only on its absence? And maybe you don't realize that's what you've been doing. And that's hopefully part of what I do here and how I help you guys in, in reading your emails and your comments is to help you look at that perspective from a different angle, from my angle, and to see, oh yeah, I, I see what he's saying. I see what I've been doing. Of course, I've been focusing on the absence of this thing that I want, not on its presence. So if you want to focus on the presence, part of living in the end result is really thinking about spend that money in your mind. Don't worry about the, the how and the when. And I say this a lot, right? Don't worry about the how and the when. Worry about, don't worry about. Think about, consider the what and the why, okay? Why do you want this money? What are you going to spend it on? What are you going to do with it? And when you get yourself into that mindset, and again, it's a practice, guys. It's a practice, okay? Don't force yourself to get into that mindset. You don't need this to happen right this very second. You just need to focus on training your mind to look at things from a different perspective so again from the perspective of living in the end result what are you going to do you're going to spend that money aren't you what are you going to spend it on why do you want to spend it on those things all right and i've said this many times to coaching clients too look if you say i want money people always say i want money okay or i want that specific person i always go why Sometimes people are stumped by this question. What do you mean, why? Why do I want money? Why do you want to win the lottery? Why do you want $10 million? What, what do you, what do you, why do you want it? Because everything that you want, you want 
in the anticipation of how you're going to feel when you have it, that how you think you're going to feel by having it. So you're after a feeling. You're either after, you're after two things. You're either after a feeling or you're after chasing a certain feeling away. Okay. But really what it is, it's a feeling. It comes down to, Hey, I want to feel abundant. I want to feel secure. I want to feel adventurous. I want my life to be exciting. So with money, I can do that. Um, I, you know, people might say, well, I want the money so I can pay off my debt. Well, why do you want to do that? Tarkon, come on, man. <laughs> but seriously, I want you to think about this. Why do you want to pay off your debt? Play with me a little bit. Okay. And play with yourself a little bit. How does paying off your debt make you feel? How do you think it's going to make you feel? Freedom, right? Um, relief from anxiety, from stress, okay? The freedom to move about, do what you want to do when you want to do it, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to say to you that you have the ability to do that now, to feel that way now. Okay. And that's why we do the processes like visualization and affirming and writing scenes and scripting and all that kind of jazz. Okay. That's why we do these things to train ourselves to get into the mindset of that, into the feeling space of that. The things in themselves aren't magic buttons that you push or magic wands that you wave that get you the thing that you want. It's the feeling state and practicing the feeling state consistently so that it overwrites the, the feeling state of not having. Okay. You want the feeling state of having to dominate. So when you go into your visualizations, and I'm going to do another video about this because I did a video on visualizing recently, but there's, there's so many aspects to it. Okay. And one of the things I really want to stress, and I've stressed many times before, I want to say it again, is that you want to go into your visualizing, your techniques, any technique, whatever it is, feeling relaxed, feeling a sense of relief. Okay. Not with the feeling of, I got to do this so I can get the thing that I want because the thing that I want isn't here and I need it to be here so I can feel this way. So la da 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 da. Okay. I want you to really relax. You need to go into these processes first, doing your breathing exercises, relaxing a little bit. And if you're not able to do that right in the moment, go take a walk. Okay. Do other things that kind of relieve the stress, whatever, ever it is that you do. Okay. Have a glass of wine, have a beer, whatever it is, you know, have a little, all right. <laughs> going to condone any certain kinds of things here on this video, but uh, you understand what I'm saying. You got to get into a feeling of, I don't really need this right now, but I'm going to do the visualizing because it's fun. Okay. And I'm going to do it because, well, yeah, because it's fun because, for its own sake, because I'm going to practice the feeling state of having what it is I want. So one of the great things that you can do, okay, is to really consider what you're going to do with the money. Imagine spending the money, give yourself the money on a piece of paper, Okay. And don't worry about that. You don't have it right now. Just don't worry about that. You're going to have free moments in your day that you can do this. Even if it's two minutes, five minutes, even if it's 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. Okay. Do this. All right. What are you going to buy with it? Where are you going to live? Are you going to give it away? Are you going to give some to charity? Are you going to pay off your debts? Are you going to uh, buy that nice car? Are you going to buy that nice house? You're going to go on a shopping spree. You're going to go travel the world, whatever it is that you want to do. Because you think right now that you're limited in these things, okay? And that only money will allow you to do these things that you want to do. And that the only way to get money is through this one avenue called the lottery. All right? None of those things are true, by the way. All right? I used to have a friend many, many years ago who didn't have a lot of money, but he traveled the world. He was a photographer. He traveled the world. And do you know how he traveled the world? He figured out a way to do it where he was, he would, um, travel on freighter ships. Okay. People do this. All right. It's, it's very low cost. And he got to go to Thailand and he got to go everywhere all over the world. In fact, I think he met his wife in Thailand. All right. Um, he's been married to her. He's got children. They're very happy. So he did this for a number of years. He managed to, to take pictures on these trips and, and the pictures he was en ended up being able to sell the pictures for good money. Um, people hired him to go travel the world in pictures. So you see what I'm saying is that there are infinite possibilities. And the ideas are inside of you and the universe is feeding you the ideas all the time. But if you're not in receptive mode, if you're thinking about how things are missing in your life and how only this one thing and this one way that can get you to where you want to be, then you're limiting not just yourself, but you're limiting the ability of the universe to give it to you in any way possible. All right. Think ways that you can't even imagine right now. Now, the only way 
for you to imagine it is that it's got to come through the lottery. I can't imagine any other way because, again, your ego monkey mind has a limited perspective. It's stuck in this sort of 3D physical reality mentality way of thinking. All right. How in the world am I going to get $10 million, $50 million? There are infinite ways. Believe me on this. About 15 years ago or something, I, I, I got an inheritance and it came out of the blue. Okay. And this is kind of before I really understood about law of attraction, before I really knew what it was. I, I knew some things about it, but I wasn't really diving into it too deeply, but I didn't have a lot of money. I was a university student. So I was living on, on borrowed money and, you know, I was borrowing above the tuition so that I could pay my rent as well and things like this. So yeah, I was worried about money at the time, but when I had a free moment, when I was just sort of daydreaming, I would play a game with myself. Now this is really silly. Okay. But I would play a game with myself. Um, and that game involved me imagining that I could stop time. <laughs> I could stop time. I could freeze everything and I could go into any store that I wanted. I could go just take money from wherever I wanted. Now, of course, in my imagination and in my game that I was playing, I was, you know, probably breaking the law. Doesn't matter. Okay. I was playing a game. Now I wasn't playing this game with the intent of I'm doing this so that I can get the money that I want. I was doing it because it felt good to me. It was a bit of an escape, you see. So it, it was an escape from my reality at the time. And it was sort of, you know, when you daydream, but with no real intention other than to feel good about it. Okay. And I would play this for a long time, this game. And I, I liked it so much that I would just in my spare time or when I was just kind of lying on my bed or relaxing, I would just sort of go into this game and I would imagine all the things that I would do. What would I do with all this money? Oh my God, I'm going to get this thing. I want that thing. I want that game console. I want, you know, that nice car. I want this thing. Oh, I would pay off my credit card debt. I would pay off my school loans. I would, you know, I would have that feeling of freedom, but I didn't think at the time that this was actually going to get me anything. The only thing it was getting me in that sense was relief a sense of relief that I was playing in my own little world, in my own little holodeck with this poss these possibilities of having this money, having this special power where I could just go and take whatever I wanted, right? Now, imagine then, the, you know, that I didn't make the connection between that and it manifesting. I didn't really, like I said, understand what that was. But one day I get a letter in the mail from a TIA craft saying that I'm a beneficiary to my aunt who I barely knew, <laughs> And before my stepfather died, he had made me a beneficiary. He never told me, or my mother for that matter. Now, my aunt had been living in a home for many years, and she was wealthy. She had made her wealth over the years through penny stocks or something like that. Um, she never had children, all right? Um, so, you know, there were no other real survivors in her life that survived her direct uh what do you want to say? Direct relatives. So I was a beneficiary to a large sum of money of hers. And I had no idea this was coming. I really literally just went down to my mailbox one day, saw this letter. This is interesting. What is, what do they want? That's my name on there. Okay. That's my address. All right. So it's not at the wrong address. I went upstairs. I, I opened the letter and my jaw dropped. Okay. So imagine you see the connection here between not only me playing this game and this visualizing, but doing it specifically for the, for the very reason of, Hey, I'm not expecting anything from it. It's making me feel good, but it was giving me the feeling of abundance. You see, it was giving me the sense that I had what I wanted. And so therefore playing that game, the visualizing that in my mind gave me a sense of relief. It gave me a sense of peace and calm about the issue of money. All right. And of course I would go back into my reality and okay, I got to pay the bills and how am I going to do this? And I'm, I'm a poor college student and I got to buy these textbooks and I got to do this and that, and the other thing. But you see the going into the game gave me enough of that feeling of relief because I didn't have any expectations from it, that that was putting me into receptive mode without me even realizing it and allowing the universe to give me that that money and that money really came in handy and it was not uh you know it, it was a considerable amount of money so it was a little bit like winning the lottery but i wasn't even playing okay so but i was playing i was buying lottery tickets in my mind i was playing without even realizing it so the point of me telling this story is that you're you're probably going into all of this your visualizations and the whole thing with the intent 
I got to have this right now. But when you have the intent, when you're signaling that intent to the universe, I got to have this right now, what you're really saying and what the universe is hearing from you is I don't have it. I don't have it. So the universe can only ever agree with you. It can only ever reflect that state of being and mind back to you. Okay, so if that's what you're practicing every day, the universe has to agree with you. It has no other choice. It has to say, yeah, you don't have it. You don't have it right now. Yes, you need it. I need this. Yes, you do. You need it. I don't have it. And that's right. You don't have it. I need to have it right now. That's right. You need to have it right now. I have it right now. And then putting the feeling of that behind it. That's why you do these visualizations to practice the state of being of it. Okay. So I want to really stress this. Again, I'm not trying to pick on you, but I'm seeing where you are not doing that. And I see this so many times from you guys when I get the emails and the, by the way, it's 1111 right now. Um, so pay attention. Um, when I see these, I see a lot of, I always get this, well, I've been doing it. I've been living in the end. So where is it? Because when you say, where is it? You're canceling out the previous statement right there. I know that you haven't been. Okay. <laughs> so again, I'm not trying to put you on the spot or be mean or, or pick on you a little bit, but I wouldn't be a good coach if I didn't point these things out to you. If I just sugarcoated it all for you. Okay. I'm not seeing results. So right away, I see that you're going, coming out of your visualizations, going into them with the, 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 the vibration of need and coming out of them with the vibration of need. So, you know, I'm going to say you're not doing them properly in the sense of you're not relaxing before you go in and you're not really getting into the feeling space and practicing the feeling space of having it. Because if you did, these things wouldn't be an issue for you immediately. Now, I understand bills come due. I understand that we have stresses around money. A lot of us do, but this is a practice. Okay. And I want you to really, when you, when you worry about money or when you, when you go to pay your bills, there's really only do the things, the minimal thing that you need to do to pay the bill and give it no more thought, put it away. Okay. You go, uh, you know, get your paycheck or whatever it is. Think about whatever task you need to do money related that gives you stress. Do that task only for the amount of time that it takes to do that task. But the problem, of course, is we do the task and then we carry the worry of it throughout the day. The task is done. I paid my bills. Money's a little tight. Okay. I went shopping. The, the, the prices are getting higher, et cetera, et cetera. But you're carrying that worrying thought about you with throughout your day, even when you're not involved in tasks that require you to think about money. Okay. So we do this. You know, one, we go, Oh, I had a terrible day. Did you have a terrible day or did one thing happened, uh, happen during your day that maybe lasted only 30 seconds, but then you thought about it all day long and you made your day kind of terrible, right? So I want you to really, really, it takes practice, guys, okay? I'm not trying to say it's easy at first. It's not. But I want you to be aware of the words you're using here and to think a little bit about your state of being and your state of mind when you're thinking about the subject of money. Now, I'm going to do... I'm going to do more videos on this topic and I'm probably going to do a longer podcast episode on this topic because these videos, I'm trying to keep them shorter. Okay. So, you know, the podcast episodes don't need to be that short, but there's so much to say on this subject. So, uh, you know, I know I speak a lot about specific people and love and a lot of you guys want to hear about that, but there's other things that we can talk about. So I'm going to, I'm going to do more videos on this topic, but I want to thank you for your email and I want you to really Consider what I said here. I hope it's helped you in the short term here, but you know, look for future videos on this topic and, and look for future podcast episodes on this topic because there's a lot of things that we're going to talk about regarding money and the mindset around money and, and just how money is energy like everything else in your life. Okay. So just to really reiterate this. All right. I want you to think about not how you're going to get the money and not when it's going to come to you. I want you to think about what you're going to do when you have it. So the what and the why is the thing you want to think about. Okay. Why do I want it? What am I going to do with it? Okay. Let the how and the when be up to the universe, but use the what and the why to train yourself into the mindset, into the feeling state of having it now. Okay. That's the key to all of this guys. All right. It's feeling it. That's the key. Okay. And it's a practice like everything else in life. All right. So thank you very much for your email. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't done so already, I'm going to say it again, please hit subscribe. Please hit the no notification bell. Please smash that like button um, and share this video with others that you think might benefit from it. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, I'm Tarkon. Happy manifesting and bye-bye.